Hi, it's Miss Mary from the Hilton branch, and I have two stories I would like to read today. First, we're going to pretend that it's morning, so let's say good morning to each other. Good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning everybody, good morning to you. Uh, let's try to get our wiggles out, so we're going to do our wiggle week rhyme, and it goes like this. Mondays I wiggle, Tuesdays I giggle, <laughs> Wednesdays I jump, Thursdays I slump, Fridays I dance, Saturdays I prance, Sundays I run, and then the week is done. So let's do it one more time. Ready? Mondays I wiggle, Tuesdays I giggle, <laughs> Wednesdays I jump. Thursdays I slump, Fridays I dance, Saturdays I prance, Sundays I run, and then the week is done. So the first book I like to read is Macy Gets a Pet by Lucy Parsons. Macy is visiting her friend Penguin today. Penguin's cat has had four kittens. One, two, three, four. The kittens are very small, explains Penguin, so we need to be very gentle with them. Macy loves watching them as they jump and play. The little black kitten climbs into Macy's lap. When Macy strokes her, she gives a great big purr. Would you like to take a kitten home, Penguin asks. Which kitten should Macy choose? The bouncy orange kitten is very playful. The gray striped kitten is so brave. The fluffy spotted kitten is very soft, but the little black kitten is Macy's favorite. Penguin gives Macy a special carrier for the kitten. They put in newspaper, a blanket, and some toys for the journey. I'm going to call her Little Black Cat, says Macy. At first, Little Black Cat is scared of being somewhere new without her mommy. Macy waits very quietly. Slowly, the kitten comes out to see her new home. Looking after a pet is lots of work. Macy feeds Little Black Cat and gives her fresh water every day. She cleans up the litter box and she gets a scratching post for the kitten's claws. Little Black Cat is growing very fast, so she needs lots of sleep. She naps in some very funny places. Where is she now? Fine little black cat. Look, up there in the laundry basket. Macy plays many games with little black cat. They love to chase things and explore new places together. It's good exercise for little black cat and for Macy too.
soon it's time for Little Black Cat to visit Dr. Fergood, the vet. They weigh her and give her special medicine to keep her healthy. What a lovely, friendly cat, Dr. Fergood says. Macy's friends come for a visit. They're very excited to meet Macy's new pet. After a long day playing, it's time to go to bed. Macy gives Little Black Cat a big kiss and a cuddle good night, then settles her down in a cozy blanket to sleep. Sweet dreams, Macy. Sweet dreams, Little Black Cat. The end. So let's do open, shut them. And it goes like this open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah, but do not put them in. Let's try that one more time. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah, but do not put them in. I have another story. It's called Lone Wolf by Sarah Kerpeel. Maple loved being the Parker family dog. Every day she played tug of war with Jax, read with Avery, and tricked mom and dad into getting her extra treats and taking her on extra long walks. But on her walks, people would say, dude, that dog looks like a wolf. Are you sure that's not part wolf? And there's a little, little person here going, wolf, wolf, wolf. The Parkers tried to explain that Maple was not in fact a wolf. Eventually, though, even Maple had her doubts. She looked more like a wolf than all the other dogs. She could hunt like a wolf. She could howl like a wolf and dig like a wolf, too. Maybe she was a wolf, and wolves belong in the wild, not in houses or dog parks, not on couches or sidewalks. So one day, when the fence was open just an inch for just a moment, an inch in a moment was all it took. Goes Maple. Mm -hmm. 
But out in the wild, the ground was tougher than Dad's flower garden. Squirrels were harder to hunt than Avery's flip-flops. And the perfect tug of war stick was just a stick if Jax wasn't on the other end. Would mom even hear her if she howled? Maybe she didn't want to be a wolf anymore. Then she remembered it was time for her evening walk. Mabel never missed a walk, so she followed her nose out of the woods and through the neighborhood. And on her walk, she found... Her pack. Some people still thought Mabel was a wolf, but Mabel knew who she really was. She was a Parker. And she was right where she belonged. The end. Oh, thank you for listening to the stories today. And right now story time is over. So let's say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye. I was glad to see my friends at story time today. Bye-bye.